Okay, so this person wants to know how can they support Black Lives Matter? Well, there's two things, right? You've got the actual movement and the organisation and then you've got the actual lifestyle, yeah? Which one do you want to support? That is the question. You want to support both of them? Cool. Let's just sort of deal with the organisation first and foremost. I'm going to put a link in the description box below. Go to that link there and you can find out ways to support them. I don't know the ins and outs of the actual organisation. I still have to do my real search on them. What I, do, what I do know is it is founded by three black women. And the other thing I do know is George Soros. Yes, he is. Um, he has funded Black Lives Matter. But whether... What one thing you gotta understand is when it comes to support financially and all the stuff there, if you know about the monetary system, you already should know that anything you're doing your support you're technically it's like you're already supporting evil anyway, if that makes any sense. It's hard to explain. You've got to really know how the monetary system works and this is what I'm saying we need to get the fuck out of Western society regardless. Do you understand? That's whether you're white and you're fed up with this racism shit as well. And if you're black especially, you understand, if you're Asian especially as well, if you're fed up with racism as well. Um, but don't get it twisted. I do understand that there is some racism when it comes to black people and Asian people. It's just not with, you understand? Like, I don't I didn't want to go off into a tangent about that because that's another video and another subject. Um, that's why I don't really like the term BAME or um, that, that BAME terminology. It just lumps up all into one and we're not all in one. But trust me, there are, just as, a, just as there are some good white people and there's good black people and good Asian people, there's also those, you know, fucking idiots, I want to call them. In fact, let me not do that because I'm judging them. Fuck that, fuck judging. You do have those, those who are ignorant and may not be ready at that time to understand the truth or understand the truth about humanity in general. So I'm going to place it like that. Now, as far as supporting Black Lives Matter, like the lifestyle in general, it just comes down to understanding what your purpose is, what your, 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 um, your personalized mission on earth is. Because let me give you an example, right? A few years ago, was it a few years or at least a couple of years ago from the post of this video or the upload of this video, which is in 2020. Let me just put the year out there um, so you know. Um, because I know people are going to watch this years, years later, so I have to put a date there so you can understand what I'm talking about. All right, so basically, as far as business is concerned, right? Excuse me. Um, as you can see, I'm human, so I'm on the burp here and there. And I'm not going to pause the video or, or stop it and edit that. Fuck that shit. You can see I'm fucking human. Alright, so... Um, yeah, so in a nutshell, what happened was... Um, I came across this guy on... Um, uh, what's the name of it? On a business app. I believe it's called Shape or Sharp or... Or something like that. And, um, yeah, he basically, in a nutshell... I was open and transparent with my situation and all that stuff there. And the man helped me, you know what I'm saying? He gave me some piece of advice and all that stuff there. This guy, I don't know, I think he was, I don't want to get his age wrong, but he definitely was older than man, innit? And this is what I like about life sometimes. It's like, when you're open and transparent with people, I guarantee you, this is what, this is what happens to me anyway. Because it's funny, because I remember my foster mom used to say, if you told me the truth, no, if you lied to me, I can't, I can't um, help you, but if you tell me the truth, I can help you. Something along those lines. So that's why I've, I've always tried to be open and transparent because where you are, you attract people that can help you with where you are to get to where you want to go. Like, that's how my situation is. It doesn't matter whether black, white, Asian, it doesn't matter. You attract that person at that time. And that's the point, the point I'm trying to make. There's another time where, and because it made me see the situation that's why you see more of you know dating and relationship type of videos it's because of that guy he made me see something 
else rather than just talking about this particular situation even though yes they are warranted they are needed to, to be talked about all that stuff there you know it made me re realize and understand okay what is it that your 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 target audience really care about because it's okay that you care about it but do your target audience really care about that or do they care about it but they don't but what what do, what's their number one concern what's their main concern all that stuff there like so so big up that guy right there um I do want to mention his name, but I'm not going to do it because, um, you know, I, I do respect people's privacy and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so with with that, I can give you another example, right? Um, what's the other example? Yeah, so, and I, by the way, this just happens about, happens that he uh, is Caucasian or white or identifies as Caucasian or white. And I happen to identify as black. Do you understand? Or African or Igbo. So it just, it just fucking happens happens it, it is what it is that's nothing that i can really um um detail for um detail that i didn't work in the right context but anyway so with you know i can give you another example but i'm i'm just gonna leave it there yeah so it, that's what i mean like you have to not worry about your you got to move not based on your your gender or not based on your so-called race or your ethnicity or anything like that you've got to move based on your personal mission on earth and what your purpose is because when you do that you attract certain people and then naturally you're going to actually end up putting yourself in situations where that person is going to help you in certain situations or you or you yourself you can end up helping someone do you get it um and it's not about putting people down because i do see in some cases where some people that be saying black lives matter blah 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 they end up putting down a next black person because they did something wrong instead of saying okay boom let me speak to that person privately and or yeah speak to that pri person privately say look this is the problem, this is the solution I have in place so we can solve this problem together. How do you feel about it? Should we move forward? Boom, boom, boom. And you move you move like that. You don't tear another black person down. It don't, it don't make no sense. Like you can't say black lives matter and then act like black lives don't matter. Because that's what I mean, it's a lifestyle. But I get some people are not at that, that mentality yet. But to get to that mentality is if you click the link in the description box below which is become a member of the Akibira Trust, you will get access to online courses such as career and business and that's where you're going to learn you know what your true personal mission on earth is aka your purpose you be on that mission do what you got to do and attract the right people where you'll be able to you know help them and they'll be able to help you and vice versa all that stuff there whether they're black or, or whether uh they're white and they're helping you or you're white and you're helping another black person and that makes any sense so yeah um if you've got any questions any topics you'd like us to discuss in our videos leave that in the comment section below and remember hit the subscribe button hit that bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next